Andrea is on her way. I'm doing a fill today. I'm not going to show you guys the whole fill. I just want to focus on the removal process and like my favorite drill bits or my go-to drill bits. That's what this video is going to focus on because I've been having a lot of questions on which drill bits do I use. I do have a drill bits video, but still yet, I still get these questions. So I figured I might as well just show you guys my go-to drill bits. All right, so this is her nails right now. So much bling. Oh my gosh. I'm going to just... Oh, take a woosa moment and uh, uh, just remove this bling. Like I put it on, now I gotta take it off. So here we go. I'm gonna remove that off camera though because it will take way, way, way too much time. All right, so all the bling is removed and now I am removing the gel polish. It's going to look a little bit more difficult here than you will probably experience because I use the gel polish as a color but then I also encapsulated it with acrylic and I did that because I was using my gel polish as an ombre if you want to see the video where I did that I will absolutely link it below but I just want you guys to know if this was just gel polish and no acrylic overlay on top of the polish it would have been removed you know quicker easier a lot more smoother especially with a carbide drill bit okay so the drill bit that i use most of the time to remove gel polish or to debulk the nail if it's too lumpy and clumpy and just not nice and smooth or if i made it too thick is this carbide drill bit now if you are afraid to use a metal drill bit then you can definitely get away with a ceramic drill bit the difference between the metal ones and the ceramic ones is that the metal ones last longer okay the metal ones last longer the ceramic ones work very well but they're going to dull out on you how do you know that your drill bits have dulled out is when they don't work the same. You're putting in the same amount of effort, but you notice that you have to keep turning up the dial and you have to keep turning it up just to get that same effect that you were getting before. That just simply means you have to toss it and get a new one, okay? So my advice to you would be to try different drill bits. See which ones work for you. See which ones last the longest for you. See which ones you're comfortable with. So right now I am using a carbide drill bit, but maybe next time I will try the gold one or maybe next time I'll try the ceramic one. They all work the same. They will all do the same thing. It's just the metal ones will last longer, okay? Okay. Another difference between these two drill bits, the metal ones and the ceramic, is that the metal ones heat up faster. And that makes sense if you think about it. Metal is a conductor of heat. So it's only natural that if you're using the drill bit incorrectly or if it's on too high of a speed that you might experience some heating or burning or your client might experience some heating or burning. So just be very, very careful with that. All right. So now that the bulk of the nail has been taken down the polish has been removed I'm going to go in with my needle drill bit and this one is a ceramic drill bit first of all you guys you never want to use any of the metal drill bits on the nail plate okay so now that I am by the cuticle I'm switching out to a ceramic drill bit and not only is it a ceramic drill bit, but it's a needle drill bit. It's very, very small, and it's made for the cuticle area and tight places, okay? So the grit on this drill bit is very fine, so it's not going to damage the nail plate if you use it correctly. You could definitely use it along the cuticle area like I'm doing now, but you could also use it to clean underneath the nail. So keep that in mind. I know we neglect cleaning under the nail a lot of times, but this drill bit is actually perfect for that. If you do not have a needle drill bit, don't fret, don't fret, because I bet you have a diamond drill bit. So this is what the diamond drill bits look like, and they serve the same purpose. So if you don't have the needle one, please, like, don't go out and spend your money. Nine out of 10, if you have an e-file, it all 
already came with a diamond drill bit. So diamond drill bits are excellent for beginners because they are the mildest, the softest, the most finest grit out of all of the drill bits. So those are very safe. You won't do any damage to yourself or your client if you use those correctly. So now once the cuticles have been pushed back and all that sticky dead tissue has been removed from the nail, you wanna go in with your Arbor Band. This is what the Arbor Band looks like. These are a one-time use. You stick the little brown sanding paper on the drill bit and then off you go, right? You use it, you do your client's nails, you do your nails, whatever the case is, you remove it right away and toss it in the trash. With the other drill bits, the metal ones and the ceramic drill bits, those are a multiple use until they turn dull and you toss them. So when you're done with those, what you do is brush them off, rinse them under some water, and then put them in your disinfectant solution. You you normally have to clean them for 10 minutes and then they're ready for the next client. But like I said again, these are a one-time use and I'm going to stress that because when I used to get my nails done in the salon, <laughs> these were not only a multi-use but like a multi-use for days. Okay, days. <laughs> Oh my gosh, it is so sad. The things that we put up with because we don't know. And it's just disgusting to think about how many people use these same sanding bands. Ah, I don't even think about it. Okay, moving on. So as you can tell, I did leave a little bit of blue polish on her nails. And that was because it was so close to the natural nail plate and very close to her skin. I did not want to use the metal drill bit so close to her skin and I, you know, risking cutting her and things like that. So I left it and now I'm going in with my Arbor Band and I'm gonna use my Arbor Band to remove the rest of the blue, refile and shape her nails, smooth everything out, make it nice and pretty and even so that when I go in to do the fill, it's going to be nice, simple, quick, and the finished filing won't be as messy. You know what I'm saying? So the more prep work you do, the less post work you have to do. You know what I mean? Does that make sense? The more you take care of your client here, the easier it's going to be for you when you're done and the acrylic is laid. All right, guys, so I showed you my go-to drill bits, and then I also showed you guys some backups. But like I said in the beginning, I do have a whole drill bits video, so I will link that below. Check that out, and if you still have more questions after watching that and this, let me know, and if I need to make a part three, then I absolutely will do that for you, okay? Other drill bits that I did not mention, pretty much you can just look at them and tell what they're for. So if it has a round top, like the one that I'm circling here, then that's for around the cuticle area. It's a safety drill bit, so that way you don't cut the client, okay? If it's small and slender and pointy, then nine out of 10 is for under the nail or the cuticle area. Um, if it's cone shape, you could get around the cuticle area with that. You could trim down the nail, things like that. Just look at the shape of the drill bit and it'll kind of make sense what it's for. You also want to pay attention to the flutes or the grooves on the drill bit. That will also tell you if it's safe enough for the natural nail plate or if it's only for the nail enhancement. Alrighty guys, so that is it. I'm taking my DIY dust collector outside. I dust the dust off into the grass and then I throw it in the laundry. I mean, what can I say? Hey, it works. This is what her nails look like when we were all said and done. Super cute, super fancy, but also basic at the same time. You know what I mean? Like a little basic, but a little cute and a little, I don't know. It was like all in one. It was all in one. I love them. She loved them. Oh my gosh. Had I known they were going to turn out so stinking adorable I would have just recorded the whole thing I would have just did the whole thing but I did oh well oh well I hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope you learned something most of all don't forget to check out my first drill bit video and then watch this one again if you need to and if you have any more questions about drill bits or e-files let me know I will try to answer them for you and if I need to make another video I absolutely will do that this video was so serious and to the point and short that I hope you guys got what you needed from it. I didn't even get to sing you guys a song, so 
Here we go. <clears throat> you ready? Nail crew, nail crew, you know I 